DJ, I had a dream. dream.
Rain, 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 cold, dump, cold, bump, push, go, jump, push, go, can I read? The mist of the night, 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 the L.F.L.A.M.A.T.O.L.U.J.U.H.A.G.U.N.A.N.U.N.A.D.A.M.O.L.F.L.A.N.A.N.A.N.A.N.A.N.A.N.A.N.A.N.A.N.A.N.A.
一日待ったら楽しむ風邪すましょう誰かがまた保在てるんだあいつらバカみたいでそんな奴に見せてやるんお前よりかは楽しんでるってバカ言うな僕がふざけんなお控えなすってここはお前みたいなチンピラのための場
Big up, big up. Sounds of the semi inside. Back up, back on the soul airwaves. <laughs> hey, semi, you're going to come and sit with us. Come and sit with us and, and chill down. All right, sick. Mic check. All right, big up, big up. Aligato, <laughs> Dom Yun. So. So <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I'm hosting my own interview <laughs> here, but um, yeah, we could sort of generally, generally start, I think. Mm. But like, um, so I wanted to say, yeah, konnichiwa, uh, listeners, Domyun. Um, thank you very much for the opportunity. 
we're going to be translating this, so maybe we should tell the people what how we're going to roll with it. Oh wow! So actually, I'm doing I'm doing uh, English to Japanese. Yeah, English to English. Japanese. I thought I was doing Japanese to English, <laughs> yeah. and I was very chill about it. But <laughs> you could do oh a basic one. You could do okay. it in your own words. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Japanese. Okay. So we do it like how how we're going to do this, and, and, and how you're going to translate what we say. And yeah. Ukawa is going to ask us. The car is going to ask us questions. Oh, okay, okay. So, Kawa san no hoo kara shit mo ari masu ne. Eh, ore? Ikinari? Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Ano, Soul Committee Radio, yoko so, Tokyo e te kanji nan desu kedo. Ano, tochak shita sono hi ga ne, eh, flight ga giri giri de 40 pun shika kare la play de ginaka tan zio. で、実はこの成り行きっていうのは、今日あのーえー、じあのー、やろうとした DJ の人ができなかったから、この日がぽっかり空いたわけなんですね。で、それで、えー、出てもらうことになったんですけど、あのー、やっぱりこれ重要なのはお互いその韓国と東京でライブストリーミングを軸にアンダーグラウンドでその。えー、ソーシャルメディア以降に活動しているプラットフォームだと思うわけですね。でそこでなんかやっぱりそのさまざまな国の、えー、ライブストリーミングをやっていったりアンダーグラウンドラジオをやっている人たちが日本に訪れてはドミューに来るので、えー、そういった意味でその交流を持ちながら、えー、全世界にこの国境を越えた、えー、融合みたいなものをねあの記録として残していきたいなとそういう気持ちで今日は。えーあの SCR のスペシャル番組を組み立てました。Yep. Yep. We got. Thanks for coming. So、um, basically, he's saying that、um, you came on、uh, when you came the other day. Your flight was、uh, very kind of it was slightly late, I think.、Um, so you only got to do forty minutes. So、um, basically, today, this day was it was possible because、uh, one of the DJs pulled out for, to have you guys again,、yeah. and、um, obviously, it's very important because.、Uh, Obviously, a lot of artists which come through here、um, come through Domyun when they play in Tokyo, but you guys are doing kind of like a similar thing in in Korea as、yeah. well. So、um, it's very important for、uh, you know us guys meet as well and、uh, kind of leave this、um, do this kind of stream together. Yeah. Well, Frankie again. So、oh, you guys are you guys are both representing like the underground scenes.、Uh, Domyun's doing like Japanese underground. You guys are doing it in Seoul, so that's、yeah. what he was saying. Ah, cool. Okay, yeah, Ari Gato.、Uh, thank you, Kawa, for that.、Um, <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to, to. I think that makes sense because one of the reasons why we were so keen to try and make、um, last Thursday to Domyun was actually it was two hours from we landed at like six p.m. at Narita and the show was eight p.m. なのであの成田に六時に到着して、あのは多分そうですね。ドミュンが八時で来ます。そうそう。<笑>やばいよね。<笑> so like one of the reasons why we wanted to actually make that ridiculous、um, time zone was because we felt the same yeah, yeah. that Dom Domyun had been such a institution of、um, broadcasting and predates Boiler Room, predates、um, a lot of other modern day streaming channels, including ours. So We, you know, it's kind of an OG sort of place, really. So, 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 あのソーシャルメディアの交流っていうのが前提だったんですけどそこでそのあのソーシャルストリームっていう、えー、概念があの当時はねユ、えーストリームっていう、え
あのプラットフォームがあってそれを利用して「懐かしいよねユーストリーム」で日本ではニコニコ生放送のテスト配信とかをやり始めた時期だったわけでこの辺まで一回止めようかでそこであの手探りでこのスタジオからやり始めたんですけど当時組み立てたプラットフォームあプラットフォームじゃないあのタイムテーブルがあのそのまんま今も生かされてるっていう。本当は2時間のトーク番組やってその後3時間のトークあ、えっと、音楽配信があるっていうプラットフォームが今年で9年になるんですけどまだ活かせられてるっていうこと自体が結構奇跡でこんなにあの移り変わりが激しいあのインターネット横丁でいまだにやり続けられてるってことは結構レアなケースなんじゃないかなみたいなことを言ってもらえたら嬉しく。So he's saying that、um, basically when they started it was a The, the time it was still kind of SNS was like mainly text based, so it was.、Um, It's pre SNS shit. Pre SNS, yeah.、Um, so like basically there was, there was things like Ustream,、um, yeah, if, if anyone remember remembers Ustream, <laughs> RIP. <laughs> and、uh, basically, yeah, but the format they had then was、uh, basically two hour talk show, I think, and then three hour DJ play. But they've managed to keep that、um, format. Going the entire time. So that format's never changed. For nine years. For、yeah. nine entire、It's、years. So,、long. yeah. That's, that's pretty incredible. I think, like, kind of from our point of view, we, we,、uh, we like to experiment with our formats and,、um, uh, like, kind of just to, just to sort of give so much. When we were starting Soul Community Radio, we, we did look at many different things which were going on at the time. Domune was one, obviously,、um, Boiler Room was happening, but there were also, like, many different,、um, like, sort of influences because Korea obviously has a very,、um, As a, has a live stream culture as well, and there were, there were, there were like many interesting live streamers with mock bangs and stuff like that. So, you got to look at the whole thing that was around. But we felt the face to face streaming with the, with the kind of the green screen background allowed us to be very sort of diverse with the kind of the, the programming we could do. We could make every show look a bit different, for example, by just putting a It could be a funny background, a, a, a wavy background, a, a, a complex one as well. Or,、uh, so that allowed us a bit of freedom. Whereas, like here, is, I think is really cool. It's all about the production. I think it's a really high quality setup. And we've all been just talking about that.、Um, a few people who have been here for the first time. Yeah, how was it? Was it, was it good? Every time, every time I play, like, Domyun, they it's more press, it's like more sound quality, it's like the、like yeah. like、best sound quality, like,、oh, I always play here. Like, I feel that. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a function one, so it's,、yeah. uh, it's better than most clubs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every, everybody's commenting on the function one, Zukawa, so, like, big up、mm. for that. That's,、um, that's a super、mm. good, yeah, good Good aging, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we have、uh, infra bass too. Yeah. Yeah, pretty sick. So, um, yeah, but yeah, 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 so Richie, yeah, 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 yeah. Richie, I know, what is your name? I see, I know, 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 まあ、やり方はドミンと違うんですけど、うんまあ、別の良さがあるかなっていうふうにだよねあのやっぱりせっかくその韓国からそのアンダーグラウンドなあのラ,イブライブストリーミングそしてアンダーグラウンドラジオをやられてる人たちが来てるのでやっぱアジアの,あの現,現行の,あのアンダーグラウンドクラブシーンについて結構聞きたいことが僕はあるんですよねでなんでかって言ったら東京って90年代えー、ぐらいからもしくはそのナイトクラビングってカルチャーに関して言えば80年代、えー、初頭もしくはそうですね初頭ですね84年ぐらいですねぐらいからあのクラブカルチャーっていうものは台頭してきてそこから90年にあのゴールドっていうあの大箱のクラブができてでそれでサウンドシステムが初めて導入されたわけですよそこから成長してきてるクラブカルチャーがあって今極端に細分化されてるわけですねだからテクノ一つとってもあのみんな思い描く世界が違うからあの人口が少ないのにそれだけその細分化されてるから一丸になれないっていうかそのパイがちっちゃいからこそなおさらそのセンスが研ぎ澄まされていけばいくほど
あの一つ一つのコミュニティっていうのがあのちっちゃくなっていく現象っていうのがあるんですけど韓国っていうのは今どういうふうにあのアンダーグラウンドのクラブシーンが成り立っているんでしょうっていうことを聞きたいですね。So he,、um, he says that he wants to ask about basically what, what the club scene's like in、um, Korea. But he's saying that、um, basically Japanese, the, club, the cult, club, club culture has been going since 84, I think. 84, 84. yeah. And he was saying like、uh, one of the yeah, sound yeah. systems was the first sound、She's、system around here. He's as old as me. Ah, I'm not going to be old. But yeah, so he's saying that you know, the scene's been there for quite a while. And going through the 90s, a lot of the scenes kind of、um, diverged into. Kind of small specific scenes. So there's you know, there's the big pie, but it's divided、yeah. into lots of very small scenes. So even within a big kind of scene like techno, there's a lot of certain styles which have their own kind of scenes and DJs and stuff.、Mm. So he's wondering if it's similar in Korea. What, how's, how's the scene in Korea come about historically and what、wow. is it like now? The historical、uh, thing, I think it's probably good to bring Sergi in. I, was, I can set, see, I think I, I personally, my point of view from seeing it is that. I feel that hip hop has played a large role in shaping the attitude towards clubbing and part of the way people club.、Um, and I feel that that is still part of the DNA of where the clubs have came from. And even to the point where,、um, you know, trap and hip hop is still played, even in techno clubs and other persuasion movie clubs. That,、uh, like, Tricky Tracks vibes just now, like kind of a big example of how it's very genre. There's a disregard for genres, which is, which is a nice thing. It's a very healthy thing. What do you reckon? まあ、All the way from Soteji to. まあ、一回その韓国の方がなんかあのヒップホップっていう多分あの、うん、のが多分強い,いや、本当そうだよね、はい。韓国のヒップホップシーン今、ワールドワイドでしょ、かなり。そうですよね。だよね。なんかそうだよねそうそうそうヒップホップがその今の韓国の,そのクラブカルチャーの形を作ったっていうふうに言ってましたね、うんうん、リッチは。なるほどね、でなんかあの結構まあの生命君の先のセットみたいに結構なんかあのハウスとテクノのシーンでもまあヒップホップを混ぜたりとかあのそういうこともやってるんですねそんなに多分東京でそんなにやってないんですよね生命君ぐらいですかね。<笑><笑>そうですよね<笑>。あのー、ごめんごめん。八十四年って今言ったんだけど、実は八十二年だった。あのキテカントロプスエレクトスっていうあのー、クラブがオープンしたんですね。それが原宿に、それが日本で最初のクラブって言われてるんですけど、あのディクショナリーをやってる桑原萌一さんがあのオープンしたんですね。で、桑原萌一さんっていう人はメロンっていうニューエーバンド皆さんご存知ですかね。えー、そのえー、その前はプラスチックスっていうあのー。テクノポップの文脈だったからテクノポップって言われてたけどラフトレードから、あのー、デビューしたユニットがいてそれのマネージャーとかやられてたんですけどその当時ってどういうことになってたかって言ったらやっぱりそのヒップホップカルチャーとニューウェーブシーンがこう入り乱れていてあの日本ではメロンとか例えばミュートビート、えー、そしてあの高木寛さんと古原宏さんのタイニーパンクスが、えー、出てきた時代だったわけですねでそういった流れの中からやっぱり日本もヒップホップからハウスへ移行していく時期を経て、えー、どんどんクラブカルチャーっていうのがあの拡張していったって文脈あるんですけど韓国もやっぱり今すごいそのヒップホップバブルというかヒップホップバブルが前提としてあってあの言ってみればその大衆にコネクトできる音楽だと思うんですけどヒップホップってで日本もちろんヒップホップあの流行ってますけどそうじゃなくてそれぞれの,そのダンスミュージックにおける思考みたいなものが超細かいあのディティールで分散されすぎててそれがいまいち一,一丸に慣れてないなっていう。あのイメージっていうのはあると思うんですねでも決して衰退してんじゃなくて研ぎ澄まされた結果そうなってるっていうふうに僕らは捉えてるんですけどっていう話ですかねうんでもやっぱりそこでやっぱりヒップホップシーンっていうものがシーンの中心にあってそこから大衆に拡散していってその流れの中でそれぞれがセンスを極めていくっていう意味合いにおいてはあの82年も今も変わらないのかなっていう感じはすごいしますねはい、so, what he was saying was it was actually 82 that he was talking about, like the first club opened that year. Wow, yeah. And 
when you said the first um, or hip hop like kind of shaped Korean uh, club culture, it was kind of similar in Japan. Uh -huh. It was more like um, new wave and hip hop at the same time. But that slowly went into house music and kind of became what it is now. Yeah. Um, Mm, did you want to add on to... I just uh, heard some kind of a first Korean rave culture and underground club uh, from some kind of first generation DJs. But uh, back days, it, I heard that it kind of started early 90s. The, the reason is uh, that back in the day, that time, we couldn't import like some underground music vinyl or any album with vocals which has vocal that's why uh, we have a techno house that kind of uh, yeah I think that that was the beginning of a raving えなんかめっちゃ面白いの来たんですけどそのあのなんつうかなあのそのレイブカルチャっていうのが逆にまあ90年代の前半であの入ってきた理由の一つとしてその当時の韓国ではあのボーカルが入ってきた理由の一つと
そうそんな時は見たらしいですねマジでそうなんだそれ嬉しいですねあの僕らやっぱりここできちんと伝えとかないといけないのはそのダークなテクノだけをやってるわけではなくてそのまあドミューの名前の由来っていうのがういうはいはいあのコミューンから来てるわけなんですよね<笑>、えーでそのコミュニティの C から DA っていうネクストステップとして、えっと、バ,バーチャル、えー、コミュニケーションの,あの、えー、世界の中でその現場における身体的なコミュニケーションとその環境をラップトップから覗き見てるビューアーの,あのウェブ上での,その,あの環境とそこでタイムラインの中でそれを見てる人たちが融合する3レイヤーが存在していて。そのコミュニケーションを前提として映し出すっていうようなあのコンセプトでやってるんですねだから、えっと、映し出してるものっていうのはその文化全般であの前半のトーク番組は、えー、もう全然あのダンスフロアとはまるっきり関係ない世界観だったりもするしで後半もやっぱノイズ・アバンギャルドも映し出すし現行の,あのベースミュージックも映し出してるわけですよ。で今もう5000番組ぐらい配信していて10年で,で10年で一区切りでその今ネット上では一切開放してない映像を見せていこうっていう取り組みをやるために今ずっと配信してるんですよなんでかって言ったらその現代アートのフォーマットにのっとって配信してるからなんですよつまりアートプロジェクトなんですねそのドミューンっていうあのプロジェクトははい So,、um, the, f- <laughs> <laughs> so the, first, the, the first thing he said, which was really interesting, I didn't know this, was、um, that、um, basically it's not about particularly a certain type of genre, it's about kind of、um, doing what the culture is and just showing it、yeah. as it is.、Yeah. So, a lot of the time, some of the shows, like the talk show before, will have nothing to do with the music afterwards, and it's more kind of just a reflection of what's going on. But what he said was the name Commune. Uh, is, it comes from commune, right? Right, yeah. So,、okay, cool. But he's saying it's like the next step. So C goes from C to D, and that's Dormune. Ah.、Um, the, yeah, the, the next media, the final media. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 And、um, yeah. Ken Chan, do you want to? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> so,、um, yeah. and then, so he was、uh, saying that it's kind of, like a, kind of like a modern art format, the way that he's done basically 5,000 shows in、that's、10 years. Incredible, man.、Um, so. It's、um, based on three connections, which was. Do you remember the three connections? So it's like community, right? Yeah. Well, it's like But basically, yeah, that I mean, that's the gist of it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah so I, I, I really like that. And I, I sort of, like I say, it was an inspiration to us at the start. I mean, like, one, one sort of thing I've always I've wanted to like, even ask, like, Rikara, is like, kind of, with such、um, diverse music coming through. Sometimes it's,、uh, it's, quite a, it's quite a job to educate like, listeners, our listeners, on like, you know, what's coming next, who to like. So I wanted to say, like, sort of the next level for like, SCR is really to help people understand the artists that are playing, especially the domestic ones. We already know they're really good.、Um, how do we let others know how good they are, who they are? So we've got to let the personalities come through and all that sort of stuff. So, I wanted to like, just ask Rukawa, just kind of interview him now, but like, kind of how,、um, you know, how, how does he sort of manage the, the, kind of the viewers dipping in all the time and educating them on what's good or what's not? I, li- I, I quite like their website, it's quite a good idea for that as a first thing. Rich is a CR, so I think it's a good idea to have a good idea of the people who are in the world. I think it's a これから何が来るとか今何が流行ってるのかだけじゃなくてそのちょっとキュレーション的な意味で今何が来てるだけじゃなくてその中で何がいいのかみたいなまあちょっとあのその個人的な意味的な意味もそうそうもう入ってるんですねでなんか宇川さんの方でそれってなんかそういう考え方ってあったりするのかそれともフラットにこう自分の評価っていうかそのキュレーションそんなにキュレーションしてないのかまあそのリスナーたちにその、まあ、教育させたいというか,、うん、なんかそういう、あのーうん、願望があるかどうかとかあ素晴らしいですね、その質問ね、あのー、やっぱりメディアって、まあ、何が重要かって、まあ、批評性だと思うわけですよねで例えばポップミュージックをいかに映し出すかって言ったらこれは批評性が軸にないとやっぱり大衆に傾向してしまうので
あのー、ダメなわけですよ、何かって言ったら、まあ、消費に加担してしまうわけですよね、でその消費に加担しないためにいかにポップミュージックを扱うかっていうこともあの意識してますし、もしあのポップミュージックを扱う場合は、でアンダーグラウンドのアーティストはいかにその、えー、アンダーグラウンドではなく、メインストリームにぶち当てることができるのかっていうことを意識しながらメディアっていうのはやってるわけなんですよでそこにやっぱり最も重要になってくるのは批評性でそれを失ったら多分メディア本来の,あのアイデンティティを失うことになるのでそこはもうめちゃくちゃあの意識してやってますよで一つそのあれですよねあの批評で、えー決定的にこう打ち出せるあの表現っていうのがあって無視するっていう行為だと思うんですよね。あのー、そうですね、えー、例えばなんでしょうねトレンドになってるからって言ってこのメディアに出てもらえるわけではなくてトレンドになってる人が出るにはやっぱりその非表軸っていうものが明確じゃないといけなくて。で例えばその人気っていうのは人の気が集まってるってことなんですけど人の気が集まってる人を出すってことがやっぱりメディアにとって重要なことじゃなくてメディアが人の気を集めるないといけないわけですよねであの単純なのはその人の気が簡単に集まりやすい人を登場させるってことがやっぱりあのたやすくそのビューアーを増や,す増やすことにつながるんだと思うんですけど僕らはそれを一切やってないわけなんですね。はい。So he's saying、um, one of the most important things is to be critical and, and have reviews. So obviously he is thinking a lot about、um, who comes on and it's, you know, that can be true for pop music as it could be true for underground music.、Um, one of the important things he's mentioning is that、um, one of the easy things to do、uh, is obviously just to Put on someone in the booth that、um, people are already you know, very interested、right. in or whatever,、yeah. who's already got the popularity. But、um, basically, Domune is a media platform, right? So, what he's saying is that as a media platform, part of the kind of the critical process there is to、um, put people on there and then、yeah. have them become you know, popular off that. So,、yeah. know who's going to、um, Be liked given the current trends and stuff, and then giving them a, a platform to be shown to the world. And then, but yeah, so obviously, that critical process is, is very important. Yeah, I see, yeah, we totally agree with that. We,、um, we definitely emphasize with sort of like trying to break and help artists and provide like a, like a, like a platform for people to express and, and find a new audience because they definitely need that in Korea because there is nothing like that. そうですね、なので、まああのー、賛成で、あのまあ、同じような考え方ですと、なので、まあ、でしょうね、だと思うんですけど、結構その、韓国でそれ以外って、あんまりそういうプラットフォームってないので、あそうなんだそ、うんうん、自分がいいと信じてるアーティストとか、うんそのまあ、若い、これからあの、まあ、人気になれるんじゃないかなみたいな人たちを、うんうんまあ、たくさん若い人たちを、えーとうんまあ、プラットフォームを作ってあげて、ああ、素晴らしいですね。はいあのやっぱり僕らが意識してるのはあのダンスフロアってやっぱりアンダーグラウンドマイノリティだと思うわけですよつまり何かって言ったらもう超少数派でそれが SNS を通じて世界中のマイノリティとこと接続されてるっていう状況っていうのはすごい重要で,で例えばボイラールームありますよねボイラールームがそのグローバルネットワークを作ったってことはすごい大切なことで。でそれ何かって、まあ、さっき言ったようなあの少数民族がこう SNS を通じて一丸となれるっていう文脈だと思うんですねそのグローバルネットワークはで僕らがやってることっていうのは全く違っていて何かって言ったら、まあ、ここを港のような形であのそうですね、えー、世界中に打ち上げられた魚をえー、このドミューンっていう厨房あのキッチンに持ってきてここで調理してもらうっていうような形で拠点としてここに偏在化してるわけですよだからいつでもどこでもっていう、えー、ボイラールームのプラットフォームの在り方とはちょっと違っていて今ここっていうあの在り方なんですねでそういったその両軸があるからこそあの僕らはえーあのボイラルームジャパンの活動もやってる
んですよねコンセプトがまるっきり違うからでそういった意味でそのマイノリティである我々っていうのがこう国境を越えてソーシャルメストリーミングで一丸となってるっていうあの現代の,そのコミュニケーションの豊かさっていうものに改めてあの感謝したいなって思うわけですよね。はい、so he's saying that、um, basically、うん um, Damien helps out with、um, Boiler Room 2,、うん、but it's because the two have completely different、like, concepts. So what Boiler Room is, is、um, through SNS or the internet, they connect.、Um, So, dance music is a minority culture. And, yeah. Um, yeah, underground so, dance underground, music. Yeah, underground dance music is more to that. And、uh, the way they connect. The tribe. Way, okay, tribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, tribe. Yeah. The way that connects over the internet around、yeah. the world is beautiful. But、um, what Damien does is so, there's a lot of different people in the world, and they come here and do what they can do here. Yeah. And that's like the difference. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah that, exactly. It's more kind of border, it's more of kind of universal thing, which is a format which works yeah, everywhere. Global, it's more、right? like, yeah, d o m i n s got its own special vibe, and people come here and express themselves through the vibe that is d o m i n Yeah. He said, like, d o m i n s like kitchen. Like、the, yeah, it's a kitchen. Yeah, kitchen, yeah. Like, people,、ah. people can, like, just like. At Dominato, ne? We, we, oh, yeah, and、uh, we, a city. Also, like, port. Yeah, port. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we really like the, the food references、yeah. here.、Uh, <laughs> <the> food metaphors. <laughs> are, are yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Good. <laughs> like, we've been doing those a lot.、Um, I, I guess, like, kind of, like, we would agree with both of the aims of Boiler Room and d o m i n actually.、Mm. I feel that we, we, we do get out of Seoul quite a lot more and more、mm. these days, hence why we're, we're here. and... We, we really enjoyed the Circus Tokyo. Was, in fact, it was that we got so much good feedback both here and at home for the broadcast that we've done. And I think this will form a part of it.、Um, yeah, I, I, I guess like one of the main things about SCR, which is,、uh, we really like as well, is that it, it's giving the Korean underground artists a chance for the world to see them out, other than people coming to Korea and going to the clubs. The clubs play a really good and important role in, in giving the also being part of the kitchen and helping to cook up the, the underground scene. And I think we're the, <laughs> we're the waiters in terms of showing, <laughs> in terms of really serving it up in a way that people can enjoy it. Very simply, I think. なんですかね、まあそのまあ同じような考え方でまあ感覚でそのこうクラブがあってそこでまあそのこうクラブも,もうキッチンみたいな感じであのまあそういう役を果たしてますとでそれであのまあこっちはあのシア自体はキッチンっていうよりはそのこうなんていうかなウェイ,ウェイトレスみたいな感じでその出来上がった食べ物をあのみんなにあのサーブするみたいな。<笑>そうで,すね、でも、SCR 自体はやっぱりあのスタジオもあって、うん、でもあのサカス東京で先週やったイベントみたいに出張もやるっていう形そうですね、いやいや、それはね、俺らも出張バリバリやってて、はいはいはい、あの今、ボイラールームのトップ。えー、画像になってるココ君のプレーとか俺,、はいはいはい、俺ら正月ラスベガス行って僕らが撮って配信してるんですよあれ<笑>やばそうそう中の人ドミューンだからこれ言っといて<笑>念押しといて<笑>あのラスベガスでカットケミストとあのあテクニクスのあテクニクスのセブンスカットケミストとデリックメイト、えーしかもなんならブッキングもやってるからね、俺らマジっすか、あれ、100回ぐらい見てるんですね、あ本当、うん、カットケミストとデリックメイト、あのー、誰、えっと、ココと、ココさんです、ね、えっと、あと誰、ケニードープあ、あの配信、うん、僕らが、あのー、あれですよ、<笑>ドミューンがラスベガスに行って、<笑>えー、やってるんですよ、そうそうそうそう,そう、だから中の人、俺らだし、俺がスイッチングやってるから、<笑>つまり何かって言ったら、その。ボイラールームジャパンとしてはきちんと機能してそのなんでしょうねこの港から離れ、えー、それぞれの港へ向かってそこからもう配信はしてるわけなんですけどそのコンセプチャルアートとしての方法論っていうものはさっき言ったことなわけですよね。でにもかかわららず僕らっていうのはあのは世界中のあちこちこそのサテライトスタジオを作ってストリーミングをするっていうあの行為もやってるわけですよ例えばアルスエレクトロニカから配信をやったり
あのー、そうですね文化庁メディア芸術祭がやっていたドイツのドルトムントから配信をしたり UK から配信したりしてるわけですよ。でそういった流れの中で例えばベルリンアートなるとか今年誘われてますけどそういった文脈もきちんと培った上でそのホームグラウンドであるこの現場からの配信っていうのを守り続けていってるわけですね。何かって言ったらこう根を生やしてるわけメディアとしてこの現場に。でただ単純にその海外に行って収録してきましたっていうんではなくて、あのー、やっぱり純粋なアンダーグラウンドの住人として、えー、ここに根を生やしてでその中からこう見極められる世界っていうものをあの打ち出していこうっていうそのマイノリティ精神っていうものがあってなんでかって言ったら僕ら狩猟民族じゃなくてあ農耕民族なんですよね、もともとねあの日本人は。だからそういった意味でここのフィールドにさまざまな種を植えてそこで実った果実っていうものをこうあの刈り取ったりあのしてるわけですよ。でそれをあの世界中に持ち寄ってブツブツ交換をしながらあの豊かな食生活を送ろうとしてるわけなんですね。Uh, what we call shit chow. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. He was saying in that Las Vegas thing, it, it、yeah. looked like it was a, a boiler room thing, but actually,、yeah. that was all basically d o m u n did wow, with that. Wow, yeah.、Um, and that's pretty much their most viewed thing at the moment, I think. So, it was, it was amazing, them, yeah. So, so, the guy, Nihon Kara no boiler room, and I've seen them boiler la kara. Wow. Right. Yeah. So, they're doing all of it for, uh, yeah, all, all, the, the, all of the boiler rooms、dumb. in Japan is done by d o m u n Sick. So, but they're doing yeah, that, yeah, and yeah. they're also, they've got, um, you know, they've got. Kind of satellite shows elsewhere as well, so maybe they stream from the UK. Yeah, it's awesome. And stuff. But he was saying about the kind of you know, Japanese、um, back in the day when they were like, I don't know how far back we're talking about, but when they used to, they used to go and plant seeds in the field, right? And then、um, create stuff <laughs> yeah, and、Japanese、then go and sell. Like, yeah, exchange yeah, we, it and stuff. Farm, so ah, so right, he's yeah, saying it's similar. They go, they go to different countries and like plant the seeds there and in these underground minorities and then help kind of push up. It's, it's、yeah. more like he, he planted the seed here, in,、yes. like, here. in the underground scene here, so that that can like spread. And he's always, he always has his roots back here, but he's、uh, also doing things in、uh, Boiler Room. I see, yeah.、Things. Yeah, no, definitely. I feel that imagination, seeds, been planted. We picked up on some, and I think a few others around. If you look around regionally, around Asia, there's a, I mean, we're witnessing this sort of like kind of spread of. Community radio around Asia, which you know, like there's a Hong Kong community radio, there's like kind of、um, there's, there's some in Taipei, there's, there's radios in,、uh, in India which、uh, like、also do the same, and, and, and everyone's sort of collaborated. And, and I feel Dom Yum is a huge inspiration, but then I feel that this, this is also like a lot of that homegrown scenes, like you know, the guys to my right and left, they're, they're sort of like it's all about people giving themselves a platform, and, and that's been really. Nice to see. I think it's like sort of just filtering down the, the kind of the, the radio, the broadcast, the media vibes because that hasn't always been a thing that people have been doing locally, and it's really cool that people are. Ah, you are like, ma, psychin, keko, ma, Hong Kong community radio, toka, ma, iron, no, toko, de, ko, you, local radio, ga, there's a Karachi community radio, Karachi, Karachi community radio, Karachi, Karachi, yeah, yeah, what meaning. いろんなところでできたりして多分絶対こうドーミューンとかってすごいインスピレーションになってるというふうに、えー、と思っていてで、まあ、いろんな地域が自分の発信したいものを発信してる、うん、あできるようになったことがすごい嬉しいって、うんうん、いやそうだよねそうそうそうそうまた結構なんかここのローカルアーティストも積極的にその、うんプラットフォームを探したりとか、うんまあ、さっき言ったように、まあ、あの僕らあの、まあ、ノスとしてもそういうプラットフォームを大事にあの、うんまあ、使わせていただいたりとかだからまあ今回の,あのサークスでの先週の、うんまあ、ノスの3人と、うんまあ、リッチと一緒に、えー、とやらせていただきました、まあ、そういう理由ですね素晴らしいですねあれ<笑>俺が質問しなくてもみんなで会話してよ。Wait for that the voice of the switching voice of God to talk, you know what I mean? Like, so, what are you gonna, aren't you playing some tracks? Or, yeah, so, so like, like sort of according to the,、um, the schedule,、mm. yeah,、uh, right now. 
going to be playing yeah. some a selection, short mini mix of homegrown SCR regular tracks. So all of these tracks that I'll be playing are people that regularly play on SCR mm. residents. Uh, majority of them are Korean. There's a few curveballs in there as well. So um, yeah, like just a bit of a flavour of um, SCR, what we're all about, and the producers that really make us who we are. ま、ティエス。ま、ティエス。ま、ティエス。ま、ティエス。ま、ティエス。ま、ティエス。ま、ティエス。ま、ティエス。ま、ティエス。ま、ティエス。ま、ティエス。ま、ティエス。ま、
彼らもその、うん、<笑>そうですね。<笑>あのなんていうかなあのアーティストとしてあの S C R の方でもえっ、ー、と韓国に行った時にえっ、ー、と出たりしたんでまあ結構なんか前からあのそういうつながりがあったんですねでまあ一致としてはそのまあ今日その二人が行ったりしてそういう話したりしたんですけど。まあ、なのでそのもっとこうメインストリームなブロック FM はまあ自分としてはまあ体験っていうか体験してない感じなんでまあでもまあそのこういろんなえーとベースをカバーしてるっていうのがえとまあ伝わってるっていうかまあなんか違う角度でやってるっていう感じなんかな、うん、そうだね、うん、でいいですね<笑><笑>はい、<笑>まあ多分もうちょっとで終わると思うんですけど、まあ、僕らはあれなんですよねそのちょっと多分世界中のライブストリーミングチャンネルと違うところっていうのはあのやっぱりそうですね動画メディアの,あの変遷のうちの一つだっていう意識で。あのやってるわけなんですよね例えば一番最初に映画以前に「幻冬期」っていうものがあってそれは「ファンタスマゴリー」っていうその幽霊劇をねあのスライドでこう映し出していったわけですよで例えば「紙芝居」っていう文脈もありますよねあのー、今そのパソコン以降でそのムービーを扱うの動画って日本では言われるんですけど動く絵で動く絵の原点というのはやっぱ紙芝居にあると思っていてそこから映画が発明されてでエジソンがキネトスコープを発明したわけですよでそのキネトスコープっていうのは覗き穴からあの映像を見るでそこからリミエル兄弟がシネマトグラフを発明してようやく暗闇の中で不特定多数の人が映像を共有できるようになったんですねまあここまで訳してまず。Oh, so, the, the start, <laughs> start, start of like,、um, oh, cool. he, he was explaining the history of moving pictures.、Yeah. So, like,、um, so the start is like Fantasmagoria.、Uh, Fantas, Fantasmagoria. Fantasmagoria.、Um, he, like、fantasy. Um, so, I know, so no, but I'm like, I know, it's a Jukyu Seki. I know. 映画っていうテクノロジーがなかった頃に幻灯機で幻灯機っていうのはねあの炎があってその手前にえフィルムがあるわけですよでそれで拡大して映すだから言ってみればその土着的なプロジェクターみたいなもので幽霊劇を映し出してその劇場にたくさんの人を呼んで怖がらせてた時代があるんですね映像全身に。He,、um, the dude,、um, he had like a fire and he had film in front of it, and like he just changed the film to. Right. But basically,、um, they'd like do、mm. pictures of、um, it, it, like yeah, ghosts. Ancient history. Ghosts, they'd like. like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then, <laughs> yeah. then they'd bring people along and then they'd like project、sure. the ghost at them. Yeah, so they'd、yeah. be really scared. Early yeah. theaters. Yeah. 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 まあ、その後は紙芝居を説明できますよね。I, I know, 紙芝居 is like a Japanese s h i l l o u e t t e あの日本の紙芝居っていうのはね昭和の時代に公園に子供たちを集めてねあのヒーローの物語をあの弁士が語りながらこう1枚ずつめくっていってあの物語を子供たちに広めていったわけ。はい So,、um, in the show era in Japan, it was more like、um, there's a guy、uh, telling the story,、mm. also with the、uh, moving pictures. And his mission was like more about、uh, spreading the story, I guess. Ah,、uh, uh, yeah. yeah. So, so it's about、like、sort of the evolution of storytelling,、yeah. is much yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, what yeah, we're yeah, doing yeah, here yeah, today. Yeah. That's really cool. That's a really cool way to look about it. That's a really cool way to look about it. That's a really cool way to look about it. That's a really cool way to look about it. でそこからようやく映画が発明されてエジソンがそのキネトスコープを発明したんですよ。So then we have films and Edison made the kinetoscope. That's right. でそれは今のパソコンみたいにこう一人で覗き穴から映像を見るみたいなテクノロジーだったの。
good conversation. Actually. So that was like, similar to like how we look at computers today when we're watching something on a screen. Yeah, yeah. So you, so you not watch it all alone, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Very much. Like so. a VR goggle, you know. Yeah, like that. De, so kara ano, Lumiere uh. Kyodai ga cinematograph o hatsume shite kuraimi no naka de kyodai na ezo o hajimete kyouyu deki ryo ni natte wake. Um, I missed the names there, but um, the next step was that they could uh, do it on like a big Lumiere. Yeah, yeah, big green, screen, green, 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 the darkness, green, you know. yeah, yeah, like basically yeah. like a film, yeah, yeah. So like a so cinema, so. yeah. And so 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 僕らが今やってるのもドキュメンタリーであの現状、ドミエンがやってることって何かって言ったらそのキネトスコープ的なその例えばデスクトップとか、えー、モバイルでそのドミエンの映像を覗き見ながら、えー、タイムラインはあのそれぞれが覗き見てる世界からの、えー、つぶやきが一つの劇場空間を形作ってるみたいな。そういった意味での,その映像の歴史の上にそのソーシャルストリーミングが刻まれてるってことを意識しながら日々配信してるっていう感じ,感じですかね。So you're saying that、um, you know, the, when the cinema came along, the first, I think the first film they showed was basically a, a film of people leaving the exit of a factory.、Mm. Am I correct? Yeah. yeah. yeah.、Um, And you're saying yeah, the important yeah, thing there、really? to know is that it's a documentary, was the very first thing they did in that, in that format.、Uh, the, first, um, the first, first film, content was a documentary. First film, yeah, yeah. the very first one.、So、and you're saying that、um, Domune is also a documentary. And you're saying that、um, with, you've got the film and the sound, and then you've got the, the text and stuff as well. And that's like everyone's got their own little kind of private cinema going on.、Um, ah. And on top of that, now we have. Social, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, the, the, the legacy of storytelling, the legacy of storytelling, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, <laughs> it's a beautiful thing to be a part of. You know I mean? <laughs> 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 no, but, but yeah. he's saying that the important thing is he s he thinks about this every day, <laughs> surprisingly.、Um, so, <laughs> this is something that he's you know <laughs> probably <laughs> considering when he's、yeah. thinking about the direction of Domu. So, now, the name of the TV is a very important thing to do with the TV. But, yeah, the TV is a very important thing to do with the TV. So, the TV is a very important thing to do with the TV. So, the TV is a very important thing to do with the TV. So, the TV is a very i m p o こういった形でのグローバルネットワークっていうのを港の側から打ち出さないといけないと思って、えー、やってるんですけど本当にあの出演してくれてありがとうこれは歴史に残る記録になったんじゃないかなと思いますはいって伝えてください<笑> So、um, what, they, what they are doing is you know, based off that whole conversation you know, and like that's what they really think、wow, yeah. The fact that you're on this show is It's like something, it's like, you know, it's a step, you know, like all these things, all these steps have been, that's what makes up j a m i n today. And、yeah. he's really thankful that you've, you're on their show today. He's very thankful that us who are doing, well, you mainly with the radio,、yeah. and but us doing like performing and stuff you, are here you, you too, today. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, he said, part of story. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he said like today this show is like,、um, this is gonna be like historical like, record, he said. Like,、ah, he really、right. said that yeah, in yeah, Japanese. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, that, 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 that means、nice. a lot. Yeah, that's、um, like kind of, it means a lot to us to be a, a part of.、Um, we have, have, to be honest, like, it's good to have a purpose, isn't it? Like, you know, there's many times in, especially musician and, and, and sort of a media company, you're like, you know, why are we doing this? What's the point, you know? So, if you do bring it back to a, a, a philosophical base that you're storytelling, you're carrying on the, the caveman stories, but in a way which is reaching more people and scaling, that's actually,、um, yeah, it brings, it brings a focus to what you do. And I, I appreciate him saying that.
あのそういうふうに、まあ、ドミンがちゃんとそのこう哲学があってその哲学に基づいて配信してまして企画してまして、うんあとまあ、そこすごい印象的で、うんあのまあ、あとすごいいいことをあの聞かせていただきましてでその、まあ、自分たちもなんかそのたんまにこうメディアのプラットフォームとして自分たちはなんでこれをやってるんだっていう時もあったりとかするんだけど、まあ、このような話を、うんえー、と聞かせていただいてその後、まあ、改めてこうフォーカス。できるように、えっ、ー、と、なると思いますっていう。ありがとう。ありがとう。<笑>でも、やっぱ、こう、重要なのは、そのアンダーグラウンドマイノリティがソーシャルメディアを通じて。どのジャンルでもね、こう、接続してね、あの、融合できて、そのサイバースペース横丁で活動ができるってこと。で、この。この後あの現在そしてここから進展する未来にあの感謝って感じですかね。マシブリスペクトとは S C R。Thank you。Big up Dom Nguyen。ありがとうございます。<笑> One love。Yeah。Thank you very much。で,<笑>で映像見せるんだよね。ごめんごめんごめん。映像見せるんでしょ。Are you, gonna, are, you, are you planning to show any visuals? You're not? I think you're going to go yeah, yeah, yeah. play, right? Yeah, we're going to go and play some,、um, we're gonna play some music. We're going to play some. So, Richie, no, they are not, 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 they Thank you, Frankie. Thank you, Ken Chan, for the,、uh, for the translation. Thank you, Sebi, for the translation. Thank you, Sebi, for the translation. Thank you,
돈만 피고 있어 팔아 나는 챙겨봐 그리고 돈 까봐 그 짓들을 당은 웬만하면 안 놀아 보석들이 반짝거려 나를 좀 봐라 내가 입고 있는 너 대체 엄마 여자애들 전화 나는 그냥 안 받아 돈이 되는 전화 나는 존나 잘 받아 엄마 아빠 전화 난 그냥 안 받아 내 인생 시발이랑 마음대로 살아 몸이 근질거려 갖고 나는 못 참아 몸이 근질거려 갖고 나는 열 받아 나는 공부 안 했지만 돈을 잘 벌어 학교 선생님들 그냥 전부 다 먹어 나는 좋은 것만 있고 좋은 것만 먹어 나는 네가 좋아하는 래퍼들의 래퍼 성공하려고 나는 바락을 해 성공하려고 나는 마약을 해 야비를 써서라도 난 얻어내 어쩌라고 시발려 난 얻어내 김성호 욕심이 너무 커 에이 지인이 하나 둘 사라져 에이 돈 벌어 나 혼자 다 가져 에이 돈 벌어 나 혼자 다 가져 에이 성들이 반짝거려 나를 좀 봐봐 내가 입고 있는 옷 대체 얼마야 성들이 반짝거려 나를 좀 봐봐 내가 입고 있는 옷 대체 얼마야 성들이 반짝거려 나를 좀 봐봐 내가 입고 있는 옷 대체 얼마야 성들이 반짝거려 나를 좀 봐봐 
goes out to the teachers. Hey, bunk. Who stayed to the underground. Bunk, 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 bunk. This one goes out to the teachers. Hey, bunk. Who stayed to the underground. Bunk, 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 bunk. This one goes out to the teachers. Hey, bunk. Who stayed to the underground.